Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel and today we're going to be looking at a product that came out quite some time ago, three or four years ago that and that I've purchased not really recently, quite some time ago as well but if you are part of Joy Miranda's uh, Facebook group uh, you will know that he's coming up with uh, this project and this product again on the market in a few months and that is with an updated visual of the newer iPhones, the 14 series. So I think that for the people that haven't purchased this, have been interested in buying this and have had this on the back burner for quite some time, I think this is a perfect time to make a review before that upcoming release. And of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about as of yet, that is Metal Phone by Joao Miranda and Callan Morelli. So let's roll the intro and get straight into the review. Perfect, so you decide to stick around, which means you want to learn more about Metal Phone. So what is Metal Phone? Metal Phone is the classic matchbox, uh, matchbox illusion or card through card deck illusion, but done with a phone. So essentially you will take a credit card, a bill, a playing card, uh, a receipt or whatever, you can take your phone, you can pass it straight through your phone, they can see the pass straight through, you then give it a hit or a hit on the table, and then you show that it was actually never your phone, it was a solid brass phone made of metal, you can give it to them, they can inspect it, and they will never find anything. So that's essentially what the routine is, and for purposes always, I did perform this on my Instagram way back, I think over a year and a half ago, so I'm gonna include the clip of my Instagram performance right now. So that was me performing the effect on Instagram. I hope that you enjoy, but that is essentially what the effect is. So having known that, where do you buy this? How much does it cost and what do you get? So this was available only at Joao Miranda Effects. I don't think I've seen this uh, on the market anywhere else. That's where I bought mine at least. Currently it is out of stock since he is not making these anymore and he has stopped making this for some time. But as I said, he is bringing out the new version of the iPhone 14, iPhone 13 kind of line. So you will get those in stock probably soon, right? So nonetheless, the price, I believe it's probably going to be the same, which was 250 US dollars for what you're getting, so 250. Of course, the price may change, but I do think it's going to be pretty much uh, the same price, even though there is a bit more manufacturing due, due to the fact that the new phones have three cameras rather than one. So maybe the price will increase a bit, but probably around the same ballpark. And what you're getting when you're purchasing this, you are getting this box. So inside of this box, you are getting you, your metal phone right here. We're going to show that to you in a moment. You also get, um, I think I can be transparent about this because they show it in the trailer. You get some extra camera stickers to place on your phone. And then you also get some extra kind of tools that are going to help you uh, set up and reset your phone, your metal phone, which is like this. So you're getting a case for your metal phone. It's a silicon case. It's a very good case uh, for the phone. And then you also get, of course, the unit, just like this. So you can see this, I'm pulling as hard as I can, and you cannot pull anything apart. A spectator will never find out how this works, right? It's, it's just a solid brass or solid metal or whatever this is, block, 
that resembles a phone. So that's what you're getting. And then you're also getting an instructional video, which is the typical drone around the type of videos where it's separated in different sections of mini YouTube videos. So essentially you get a mini YouTube video regarding introduction, how to set it up, how to take care of it, et cetera, et cetera. You're getting all of those videos taught to you by Joao, teaching you what you need to know about metal phone. So having said that, let's get into a few miscellaneous things before continuing the review. So a few miscellaneous things that I want to mention about this is that this is heavy, right? This, this is kind of heavy. So some people that want to carry this around with them will have to bear in mind that this is a bit heavy and that this will weigh a bit in your pocket. So you have to take care of that. So I will talk about that in the practicality, but I wanted to mention upfront as well. Second thing I think that I want to mention is I've seen some complaints of people complaining that the metal phone has like these notches here, like kind of these metal screws. And I've performed this a few times and no one has ever mentioned that or noticed it. I think even if you give it to them, they're just going to look at it and be like, okay, and move on. So I don't think that's an issue. I don't know if the new ones are going to have it, but I, I imagine that they will, since it's going to be the same mechanism, uh, probably, but, uh, that's something that to some people stood out. I don't even know if it stood out to you first time without me pointing it out, but it is something that I know bothered some people a bit, uh, but yeah. And lastly, the last thing I want to cover before moving in is the kind of debate go going around all of these effects, right? Uh, whether it's the matchbox uh, effect or whether it's the card through box or this one is a lot of people saying, is this a magic trick or is this an illusion? And I think that it can be both. I think that a puzzle or an illusion can be a magic trick as well. It can be a magical moment for someone. So doing this and having this reveal, right, of taking off your cover and showing an impossible object to your speculator that they've probably never seen, putting it in their hand, giving them the card and say, how does this work? Could be a very magical moment for some people. So I think this missing effects such as these because you don't feel, you know, magic when you watch it as a magician, I think downplays it a bit, but I do understand that for this price point to some people, that will weigh a lot on their uh, conscience and their subconscious when purchasing this. But to me, I do think that this is still very magical of an effect, even though it is not a card trick or a mentalism trick and more of a demonstration of an impossible moment. So I wanted to mention these few things before continuing into difficulty. So what is the difficulty to perform about this? The difficulty to perform about this is beginner. So I could literally set this up, give it to someone on the street, tell them, can you just push this here? and show that is going through and then turn over the phone and he's going to be able to do it. So difficulty wise, there's not much, there's not a more, you know, we don't require much more for me to say It's pretty much beginner. Moving on now to practicality. So is this practical? So there's a few things to mention about this. So one, you will have to carry around the phone, right? So you're going to have to carry around the phone and you will have to carry around with you a specific tool that is going to let you set up and reset the phone. Okay. So you will have to carry that and the tool. The tool is a bit small, but it is a tool you can pr probably find in some hardware stores if you, um, if you lose it, but you will have to carry that around with you. So you will have to carry around the phone and that small tool. If you just want to perform it once, then you don't even need to carry around the tool. You probably just carry on the phone. Okay. So you have to take that in mind regarding practicality. As well, regarding practicality, one thing you have to carry, uh, you have to keep in mind is I did mention you don't have to take around the tool, but if you don't take around the tool and you want to perform this, I would not recommend putting the phone once it's set up inside of your pocket, going around the whole day and then wanting to perform it because you will probably find that the effect has uh, worked by itself inside of your pocket. So once this is ready to do the effect, you really have to take care of how you handle this as to not have the effect work itself in your pocket or on the table or anything like that. So I don't want to give too much away, but you do have to keep that in mind. So what I like to do is I like to set it up maybe five or 10 minutes before I perform, then just keep it as my normal phone on the table, maybe put something over it or a napkin if I'm at a restaurant or something. Or if I'm at a gig, I'll place it in an empty pocket, right? An empty pocket. 
and have it stay there. And then I know that maybe for five or 10 minutes, if I, while I introduce myself or walk to a table or another, it's going to be safe. But if you're looking at 10, 20, 20, maybe 30 minutes before you perform this, you'll probably find out that by when the time is, when the time comes to perform, it will already be performed. Okay, so that's all I have to say. So that kind of brings me into the prepar preparation and reset. So to prepare this to perform takes you around five to 10 seconds. So it doesn't take long and it can be done super fast. So you can literally do this inside your case super, super fast. You cannot do this in front of a spectator at all. So you do this inside your case and then you're ready to perform. And then once the effect is done, if you're going to perform it again for someone else, you have to do the same thing again. So you go in your case, you prepare it and you go perform it again. So technically the reset is the startup. So you're resetting the trick only when you're going to perform it again. So yeah, technically it's the, the startup to do the trick is the kind of reset, if that makes any sense, if you're kind of getting what I mean. Because you can't perform the trick without a startup, but you can end it without a reset while going to another table, but then you have to restart again. So uh, I hope you understand what I mean about this kind of uh, reset thing, but it will take you maybe five to 10 seconds out of the line of sight of the spectator. Inspectability regarding this, it is very inspectable. They can inspect it once the trick is done. This can be handed out, they can pass around. Uh, this will not open or this will not bridge up or will not leave any lines, which I think is major here because you cannot see anything on it. It is beautifully made. And the last thing as well regarding practicality is angles. So the angles for this are pretty good. You just don't want anyone uh, below you, below you, or you do not want anyone directly looking like this. So if you perform this and people are looking like this, maybe angle it a bit uh, like that to block a bit their vision while you're doing it. So you don't want people staring directly from the top, even if they kind of can, so, right? But you wanna keep this eyesight. So even if there's people close to you, like if I were to do this to myself here, I can't see anything, right? I can't see anything and I'm kind of over it, but not directly looking up. So what I'm saying is no one should be looking at it from straight here and no one should be below you while you're performing it. So those are kind of the only angles. There's not, you know, it's not a major issue, but you will have to keep uh, your eye out for that. So moving on to where to perform. So where can you perform this? So considering that you do have to set this up a bit or whatever, um, this can be performed even then pretty much anywhere. So I think this works perfectly in casual environments. So if you, if you do this at like a bar, or at a club or at an outing with your friends or at a restaurant with some people, this they're gonna be like, what did I just witness, right? So <clears throat> you can definitely do it in those casual type environments, but you can also do this at your gigs. So you can do it from table to table because you can reset it quickly, right? So <clears throat> there's no issue regarding that. You can reset it quickly and uh, you'll be able to go from table to table. Uh, Apart from that, I think you can do this in parlor settings as well, or cabaret type settings as well. And for stage, if you have a camera, you can do it as well. But I don't think that just doing this on stage will play out well for like a thousand people in the crowd. I think this plays well for like a smaller crowd around you or anything like that. I think it plays well. So having said that, let's get into the positives and negatives. Because as you may have noticed, my voice is already letting me down because... <laughs> We have already filmed quite a few videos today already. So it's been a hefty day of filming. So let's go into the positives and negatives right now. So what are the negatives of metal phone? So one of the negatives is that there is a small reset and uh, a small reset that you have to do between every performance that has to be done out of the eyesight of the spectator. So that's a negative that you have to keep in mind. Another negative for some people, as I mentioned, is that this is not really a magic trick. It's more of an illusion puzzle. For me, it's not a problem, but I know it is for some people, so I will put it out there. And the notches out up top. I know some people said that they're, uh, you know, there's engineers or they're, um, you know, metal workers and that if they would see this, they would automatically know what's going on. But I think you're a lay spectator um, is going to enjoy this no matter what, even if you perform this to like metal workers, uh, I think they will enjoy this effect because it will take them by surprise because no one knows where this is going at the start. But 
It is a negative for some people, so I do need to point it out. Regarding the positives, the positives are that this is going to last you a lifetime. So as long as you don't literally just take it and throw it out, this will pretty much last you your entire life. It's extremely well made, the highest grade material. This is incredible. Uh, like I'm not someone that knows about this stuff, so I still don't know how this works. Uh, I kind of do, but I, I don't know how it's made to work. It, I just know that it does. So it's very good. It's also a different effect to the type of magic trick. So it could be a very good opener uh, for people. It is a routine that you can perform in a lot of places. I think that it's also going to get some very good reactions as well. And the tutorial video is great as well. So those are the positive and negatives. So would I recommend this to you? Would I recommend this to you? Because this doesn't fit in any category, right? I can't really say like other, oh, if you're a coin magic, buy this. If you're a card magician, buy this. If you're a mentalist, buy this. And if you're not, then maybe consider it not buying it. I think that if you like what you saw, and only if you like what you saw and you like what you've heard and you like what you've seen about this product in the past, then go ahead and buy the new version. I think it is worth it. If you saw this and you weren't really impressed and then you're like, oh, you know what, let me just try this and jump onto it. I think for the money that you're paying here, if you're not unsure, do not buy it. I think this is only something you should buy if you saw this, you know this, and you're like, I know I'm going to use this. I love this. It's incredible. I want it. I want it. I want it. Then go for it and buy it. Contact Drow. Tell him you want the new model. You can go uh, through Facebook or send an email. And I think that he could talk to you about when it releases and getting you on the list. But if you're not really, or if you're on the edge or you're still not convinced about this or don't see use of this, then do not buy this. That's the best I can say. For myself, I have found use of this. And I have used this and I do enjoy having this prop and I do enjoy that even if I don't perform it all the time, the times I've performed it, it goes extremely well. And even then, I think just having this on your desk at work or anything like that and having an impromptu thing uh, ready to go is going to, um, to be great. So for me, I would give uh, Metal Phone by Joao Miranda an 8.25 out of 10. So it is a very good product. And that's it for me. So thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you in the other ones. Bye-bye.